What's going on YouTube? This is Devin coming back at you with another video on Pups on Pimp TG. Today we're going to be looking at Calamax of Stormsire. This is going to be a little bit of a different deck tech because this is going to be a CDH version of Calamax. So there's going to be a lot of combos I'm going to be discussing with him. And some combos you may want to run in your own Calamax deck if you want to bring it to the higher level. Before I do dive into some of the combos, I did want to preface that my playgroup does play a lot of higher power games. So that's why you may see some things that I've experienced that do really well with Calamax and you may want to try for yourself. But out of all the CEDH commanders from Ikoria, I do think Calamax is my personal favorite. I mean, it does help that he's an elemental dinosaur. I mean, there's a lot of dinosaurs from there, but from the CEDH database, I've been looking over some commanders from Ikoria and there is a whole lot coming from Riel, Kennen. Let's see here. We also have Halden and Paco, Brawlin and Shabraz, Vadrog, Zaxara, Kazar and Ukima. So there's really a lot of Ikoria commanders that made it on the CDH database. But I do like Calmax again because he has a lot of infinite combo potential and he could be a really great control piece on the battlefield. Doubling your counter, uh, counter spells, for example, you can counter a spell, you can counter it twice. So overall, I think Calmax is personally one of my favorite commanders from Ikoria. And today I'm going to be showing you some combos that you may want to run in your deck that's pretty efficient, in my opinion. However, I am not going to go over some of the mana bases like mana rocks or some of the spells you may want to run i will have a link down below in my description with the full deck list so if you want to go check that out you're more than welcome to but let's get into some of the combos that you may want to run so with that out of the way we have our first combo using underworld breach lion's eye diamond and brain freeze this is probably one of the most popular combos if not the most popular combo in cdh so i'm not really going to go too much into detail with this combo because it's pretty well known so you could either win by milling out your opponents or milling yourself to win with a Thassa's Oracle. Moving along from a more popular combo to something that Calamax really shines on and that's copying spells. I love catching people off guard with this combo because it kind of happens out of nowhere. You'll need seven mana with Calamax tap. You will cast Chandra's Ignition. With this, you will hold priority, and that's very important because you want to cast one of those copy spells like Fork. Calamax will then trigger because it's the first instant spell played this turn. So with that copy, you're going to continuously copy that original copy of Fork until you make Calamax as large as you want so that you could then end the loop and then let Chandra's Ignition go and blast everybody on the table and win the game. So I like this combo for multiple reasons. My biggest reason is that it's pretty original to Calamax. And you really can't do it with another commander unless you want to jump through extra steps. But I think Calamax is pretty great with this combo. So I would definitely highly recommend putting this combo in there if you haven't already. Plus, you don't have to use Chandra's Ignition as well. You could do any other sorcery spell to copy and then to copy again to make Calamax really large so you could swing in or commander lethal damage as well. That's also a really great option too. Aside from copying spells, we do have ways to get infinite turns as well. This is a pretty familiar combo with a lot of people as well. We're going to be using Isochron Scepter as the main game plan. You could use Merchant Scroll or Mystical Tutor. I personally like Merchant Scroll better because it puts it right to your hand. So the way this will work is we're going to cast Isochron Scepter, exiling Mystical Tutor or Merchant Scroll. Then we're going to be casting Nexus of Fate. And after it is shuffled in your library because of Nexus of Fate ability, we're then going to use Isochron Scepter's ability to either cast Mystical Tutor or Merchant Scroll to put Nexus of Fate back to our hand or on top of our library so that we could get Nexus of Fate so that we could continuously loop that over and over again, gaining you infinite turns as well. I know a lot of people aren't a big fan of extra turns, but it is definitely a way to win the game if you want to choose that route. So we're going to move away from infinite turns and we're going to go to probably my favorite combo because it only uses one card to get a bunch of stuff. That is Court of Calling. Court of Calling is my favorite card with Calamax because you can do so much things with it. Even though we're using one card, there are multiple steps to this combo and hopefully I can explain it the best way I can so that you could understand this combo. So the way this is going to work, you're going to have Calamax on the battlefield untapped. Then you'll cast Court of Calling for 3 and then you'll tap Calamax for that Convoke cost. This will copy Court of Calling, searching for uh, converted mana cost creatures 3 or less and putting them onto the battlefield. You will then grab Dockside and Eternal Witness and put them onto the battlefield. 
Eternal Witness will trigger putting Court of Calling back into your hand, and then you would also need to have Dockside enter the battlefield with six or more treasures. You will then repeat the process by casting Court of Calling for three total. You will convoke Eternal Witness and Dockside Extortionist so that it only costs four total mana. You'll want to search for Baron Master Wizard. Then you will use Baron's ability to put Dockside back to your hand and then continuously put it back on the battlefield and then putting it back to your hand so that you essentially loop around with infinite amount of treasure. Now you're probably thinking, what can I do with all that treasure? Well, here's a pretty great solution and it's all on the battlefield and in the graveyard. We could have Baron bounce Eternal Witness back to our hand and then cast Eternal Witness to then put Court of Calling back into our hand. With Court of Calling back into our hand, we could then search for Thrasios and then dump all that mana into him, drawing our whole entire deck and then casting something like a Thassa's Oracle to win the game. So I think that's the biggest reason why I love Court of Calling because you could win the game on the spot right there with just one card and Kalamax on the battle. Well, that's gonna do it for me guys. Thank you guys so much for coming by and watching this video. It's kind of my first step into making CDH deck videos. Uh, I do play a lot of CDH deck games and this is actually my own personal deck as well. So I do have a Kalamax deck. I thought it was just so exciting to share with you guys with uh, some of the combos I have in my own deck and some of the ways I've won personally in my own deck as well. So so again, thank you guys for coming by. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. That's definitely the best way to support the channel. Also, let me know down below in the comments who should I do next for a deck tech as a CDH commander. I will definitely do normal deck techs as well. And also, I'm going to be doing budget deck techs as well. So stay tuned for that. And again, thank you for stomping by.